Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video which is going to be my first impression on the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. This is part of her holiday collection for 2020 and when I saw that she was going to have a new shimmer formula in this collection, I knew I had to try it out. Before we get into today's video, if you're new here, I'm Jodi. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you're going to enjoy this one, find it helpful and consider subscribing to join me for a future video. I do a lot of subscription box unboxings, I do makeup reviews on new releases that interest me. I do a little bit of shop my stash. I do it all here on my channel and I would be happy to have you. In addition, I want to thank my first five commenters from my previous video. Thank you so much for showing my channel lab love. I really appreciate it and I love chatting makeup with you in the comments section. Those that have a YouTube channel will be indicated by the YouTube logo and link down below in case you're looking for some new channels to watch. Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into it. Charlotte Tilbury had a pre-sale on this collection on her website for about 48 hours where she released it and eventually this is going to go to Sephora and probably Beautylish as well. But she did release it for a temporary time and I was able to pick mine up from her and even though the palette retails for $75, I was able to pick it up for $60 because one of you used my referral link which I have in the description box down below which is a $15 off a $75 purchase and if you make the purchase Purchase using my link then I get the same discount so we both kind of win and you can get a coupon as well it's not anything specific to me it's just because I'm a customer so in total because of taxes I ended up paying $66 with 15 cents here's what the outside of the palette looks like and I think it is just absolutely stunning I love the little rhinestone detail on the back side you just have information about the ingredients it says it's made in Italy you have an 18 month shelf life now the palette itself is silver and it makes me dark when the light's focusing kind of on the palette so let me just show it to you quickly that's what it looks like and it's absolutely beautiful if you open it up you do get that little sleeve that's kind of labeling each shade in the trio one two or three and those are just prime enhance and smoke shades that kind of go along with how she does her makeup in her channel so here's what the actual palette looks like and each little trio has its own name you have happy glow Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. What attracted me to this palette is that I do love the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I did an eyeshadow palette tag with my friend Drea where I was talking about how much I have used this little tiny Charlotte Tilbury quad that I have. It surprised me because I used to really criticize how expensive they were. And I always said that getting a palette is actually more bang for your buck because the quads are 53 and then you can get one like this for 75 so it's a little bit of a better deal however i was always more drawn to the color stories of the quads but now that she's got this new formula i was intrigued and i wanted to try it i saw wayne goss's swatches and some other people's swatches and i knew i was gonna have to pick it up i'm gonna show you some swatches now when i show you the swatches i did put seduce glow next to Happy Glow since they are the two neutral trios in the palette because I wanted you to be able to really see how the neutral tones kind of compare to each other. You have a more red trio as well as a more purple trio. Most of my look comes from this purple trio but I did mix and match several shadows here so that you can get an idea of how they all perform. If I didn't mention it before the palette has an 18 month shelf life and you have 9.5 grams total product in the palette. Now I'm going to put this down because it's messing with my lighting quite a bit. The main thing I can tell you about the palette is that these shades are incredibly incredibly pigmented. You think of a brand like Charlotte Tilbury and you think that the shades are going to be lighter, a little more natural and that you're going to build them up. These are super pigmented from the start and I discovered that when I was doing my eye look and I'm going to share with you the details of my experiences with the shadows as I go through the demo of how I created the eye look. So let's go ahead and switch to that and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Believe it or not, I was going for a cool tone look today and with an Esam S33, I went into the enhanced shade from the Dream Glow Trio and because they're not a lot of mattes, I knew I was going to apply this in the center of the lid, so I decided to go into the crease with it so that it could diffuse outward a little bit. And I'm gonna follow all the steps the same way as I did when I was working on the other eyes, so you can kind of get to learn the shadows a little bit with me. This is a new formula for Charlotte Tilbury, and so I was just experimenting a little bit, and I was fully expecting for this metallic shade to kind of diffuse out as I blended, because most of the Charlotte 
Charlotte Tilbury shades do kind of blend themselves out whereas the edges will fade out a little bit but what I found with this one is that it stayed pretty intensely metallic kind of the whole way through which was really interesting so I went in with this shade in the crease this way and then I actually went in with the smoke shade on a Smith 253 and I put this on the outer corner of my eye so that's what's giving the look that slight purple tone to it I'm going to actually use this also along the lower lash line to really bring in the purple a little bit more because I feel the way that I blended this it kind of enhanced the coppery tones rather than the cooler tones that this trio actually appears to have when you look at it in the palette All right so you can see that shade packed on just fine and then what I did was I took a super soft brush this is a Sephora Collection Pro Featherweight Crease. <laughs> so I was expecting to have less pigment with this and the two options for the matte shades are either the enhanced shades in Happy Glow or Seduce Glow and I thought that Seduce Glow was a little bit slightly more cool toned and so I went with that one even though it is a little bit darker. And what I did was I went along the edges of the shade that I put down first and if you notice you get an intense amount of pigment now this is now my second time going in and so I'm actually using a lighter hand than I used the first time but these shades are not missing in pigment so if you have a heavy hand you're going to want to lighten up a little bit and use softer maybe more fluffy brushes to avoid getting like an immediate smoky eye right out of the gate because I'm using a lot lighter hand on this eye another thing that you can do is set your eyeshadow base I personally don't because I do like my shadows to be a little bit more pigmented and then I've just also found that the fewer layers I have on my eyes the less likely it is that my eyeshadow is going to crease so as you can see this enhanced shade is very neutral but it's also quite intense and a little bit deep you can see how quickly this is becoming a smoky eye it's not necessarily what I was going for I don't dislike it it's just not what I was going for in the beginning I thought I was gonna have a purple soft smoky eye and then it turned into like a coppery bronze you know more evening look perhaps I mean I wear my makeup anytime anywhere and I enjoy it so so you can see how pigmented that one is now I'm gonna go into that Smith 253 again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that first shade and I'm going to lay it down right in the center so that you can see how the shade applies with a brush you can see it blends in with the rest of the eye look really easily and that's when you kind of lose that purple vibe now I am going to apply a little bit more of this shade with my fingers but I did want you to see how it applies just with a brush and it's honestly perfect just with a brush itself next I'm taking a Scott Barnes number 60 I'm learning more and more how much I like this brush for the inner corner because it allows me to kind of cut my crease without actually cutting my crease because of its curved shape so I'm starting to get more and more of an appreciation for this brush so you can see that it goes right into my eye socket there and I can carry it upward in that swooping motion and it applies the product really beautifully so this one is the prime shade from the dream glow trio and I'm going to bring it inward a little bit just to kind of give me a little bit more light to my eye and it's applying it just it's just beautiful it truly is at the onset when I first started experimenting with Charlotte Tilbury one of my least favorite products from her line was the eyeshadows because I just couldn't understand or I couldn't really rationalize in my own mind the price point for tiny quads or $75 for a palette such as this one which are more neutral tones that you can find every day but especially with this one the pigmentation is intense I'm really surprised at how intense the pigmentation really is I misspoke earlier there's actually three mattes that I could have used but the love glow trio is very red and that was kind of what I was trying to avoid um, so I'm going in with my finger now in the dream glow shade and I'm just going to to apply this to the center of my lid kind of overlapping it with that prime shade so that it blends together nicely notice that I'm not necessarily getting more intensity or metallic character 
into the shadow, I'm really just using my finger to blend it over that lighter tone. The next thing I did was take a brush with no product. It's got stains on the bristles because I used it to blend the other eye, but this is a real technique number 203. And I'm just gonna use it to blend out the edges. Just blend out those shades together nicely. And it does it very, very easily. This brush is a slightly more firm brush, and so it works very well for something like this. All right, so that's about even. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Love Glow Matte, which is the slightly more reddish matte shade. And I'm gonna use that to give myself, you know, the infamous Charlotte Tilbury feline flick. And originally I wasn't planning to do this, but since that first shade I put down had quite a lot of red, I thought that it would work well and then also give me an opportunity to try out more shades. So I'm just going to kind of stamp a wing here on the outer corner of my eye and bring it inward. I don't want it to be a super defined wing or I would have gone in with liquid liner but I do want to kind of enhance my lash line a little bit especially since I'm just gonna be wearing mascara today at least I think so for the time being we'll see how the look ends up being and then also I just wanted to give you a feel for how more of the shades perform on the palette overall I have to say that the pigmentation is super impressive you're gonna be able to create your look super quickly with this palette I'm also obviously wearing shimmer in my crease and that's something that doesn't really bother me at all. This type of shimmer is sophisticated shimmer. It's not like I'm putting like a metallic shadow into the crease even though I would do that too. <laughs> I was gonna do a brow bone highlight and I was thinking of using that shade right there but because my crease is already a little bit metallic and then the shades are so so pigmented I actually I actually did it and then erased it. I put a little bit of concealer there to clean it up because I wasn't liking how that looked. It's, it's just very pigmented and I went in with a super light hand I thought I would just put a little bit of shimmer and so I think I'm just gonna let the concealer that I use to clean up my brows be its natural highlight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup I have some hourglass products to play with today which I will be sharing in another video not sure which one is going up first probably this one but I did apply some mascara and since we are in Charlotte Tilbury mode I decided to use her legendary lashes volume 2 mascara it's a mascara I enjoy for everyday kind of makeup look because it kind of thickens my natural lashes considerably when I'm gonna wear false lashes you all know I go more for separation so that you can see the pattern of the false lash that never fails not just with this mascara but any mascara <laughs> I'm so impatient when applying mascara. I don't understand why that is. For now, this will do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and we'll be back to do the lower lash line. All right, so I've applied my foundation, concealer, and a small amount of contour because I'm gonna be trying out the Hourglass products today. And so I want to do that in a separate clip. So I decided to emphasize the purple of the look. This is how we're gonna finish it. So I'm taking a Sephora Pro shader number 18 brush and I'm taking that smoke shade from the dream glow Rio and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that all along my lower lash line and kind of upward in to connect to the top as you can see I'm not bringing it all the way in I'm just keeping it to the outer two-thirds of my eye again just because I wanted to really emphasize kind of the purpley tones of that trio and I thought that doing it along the lower lash line would be a good way to do so so then just because I wanted you to see what I was talking about I'm gonna go ahead and use that prime shade from the love glow trio and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line on the inner portion of my eyes so you can see see how peachy it is so it's actually you know just a little bit too dark to use as a brow bone highlight but it does work really well on the inner corner in my opinion so I'm just going to run that along the inner part of my eye blend it into the smoke shade and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap the inner tear duct and you can see how bright and metallic that shade is it's really a highlighting shade really really beautiful there and that is pretty much everything for the eyeshadow look I did finish it off with a nude pencil in the waterline this one is the larger than life longwear eyeliner from NARS and it is in the shade Rue Bonaparte so I'm applying that on the inner waterline just to brighten it up a little bit and then my typical lower lash mascara from MAC I'm gonna go ahead do that finish the rest of my makeup and and I will show you the finished look. Hopefully seeing that demo and my initial impressions on the palette were helpful. 
The thing that got me the most is how pigmented these colors are. I think that this is going to be a palette that is suitable for absolutely all skin tones. If you have a heavy hand, I think you're going to want to ease up a little bit when you're creating your looks with the palette because it is extremely, extremely pigmented. Typical Charlotte Tilbury quality. I do like her new shimmer formula. It's still a very sophisticated kind of shimmer. It's not going to be something that is really metallic or too bold. As you saw in my look, I am wearing shimmer shadows in the crease and I don't think that it's empty emphasizing anything bad on my eyes. So I feel very comfortable with the look that I created, even though it was a little bolder than I was anticipating. Also, I was trying to go for a cool toned look again, and I just think my natural warmth kind of just transforms those shades a little bit, and it turned a little bit redder, but I think we got some purple vibes going on as well, and I really like the look. If you're interested in the face makeup, I did create it using the Hourglass Holiday Collection, which I will have covered in a previous video or one coming up soon, so keep your eye out for that. Other than that, I'm really happy with the palette. I mean, the, the pigmentation is really, I mean, that's what really, really got me. I wasn't expecting that I was using super soft brushes and you saw what happened, so I think that it's a very beautiful palette. Definitely useful for every day. And then another very, very nice thing that I didn't mention before is that the tones are considerably different. So you can definitely get four very distinct looks. It's not going to be a palette where every look is going to look the same. You're going to have at least four if you follow the layout of the palette. And of course you can get a little creative like I did and mix and match. I like it. I think it's a good one. I'm becoming a lot more particular about the makeup that I bring in. I did purchase the highlighter when it became available on Sephora's website, as well as the Marc Jacobs Cherry Palette. So if you're interested in those, then make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell on so that you're notified when I share those videos. I will likely be filming with those, if not tomorrow, then the following day. So those videos are coming up really, really soon. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you did enjoy it and find it helpful, don't forget that thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those for me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. Don't forget I do have that referral link in the description box if you want to use it. If you're interested in picking up the palette for yourself because it is precisely at the spend limit that it needs to be in order for you to get the discount. So something to keep in mind. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate your spending a few minutes of your day with me. Hopefully it helped you relax, get your mind off things, and make your day a little bit better. I hope you're having a good one, and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon on my next one. Bye-bye.